I've been getting a lot of questions for. We've recently been doing a lot of e-commerce stores, we've been building a lot and a lot of people have asked us what's the difference between niche stores versus generic. So today we're going to take a look and we're going to tell you the pros and cons of each store. So let's get started and with my favorite and that's going to be generic stores. So what I like about generic stores is there's definitely more opportunity. There's all these different markets you can start breaking into and all these new products which have amazing huge fan bases behind them and it's very easy to get some sales to get started because they're just so easy to start testing and seeing which one just hits and just starts working. That's why I really recommend this generic store generic stores in general and fan pages they usually are a more scalable business model most generic most generic stores they do have more fat more more likes more fans <clears throat> more just people who are joining the page or buying from the page and things like that and they have the ability to adapt quickly so you can change each season to a different product just because you have so many so it's very easy to just adapt to another product if something's working well and you can still do niche marketing you can always just make a second page as well uh, for niche marketing and you can even make on your website different products that are working well I've, I've known some people that they have thousands of products but most stores there's only like 20% that are actually selling them just niche down on certain products the cons are there's lower conversion rates not always but they tend to be and they usually less engaging fans so the people on a generic store then they tend not to be as engaged with thousands of products and that that just makes sense it's pretty obvious So let's talk about niche stores. So let's talk about niche stores. So the pros of niche stores is they're usually higher conversion rates just because you, you have a product that really has an audience behind it. For example, dogs, if you have dog collars, people are gonna love it, people are gonna share it, people are gonna be talking about it. So you have definitely have more engaging customers and fans so you really create a true fan base so people who really really just like your products the cons are you need to run multiple fan fan pages to manage this so that's more work that's why it's usually more advanced people that recommend these two but anyone can do it they can fizzle out if it's just the trends and there's less opportunity to test random products. So with each store you've, you've, you can see the pros and the cons and I, if you have one store or another they're both gonna make sales like you can look at wish list and, and survival bracelet stores they're both making a lot of sales the thing is it's really about what you have a passion for and what page just is gonna is is something that you know a lot about that that niche or that that stuff or which feel which thing you feel more comfortable doing so at the end of the day I recommend normally generic stores to newbies and more niche stores later on down the line in your career just because that's you, you have to have all the testing and you can do that easier by building different targeting lists with generic stores so that's that's uh, our our breakdown of niche versus generic stores everyone if you liked this video like it comment subscribe and tell me just what you thought if you agree or if you like niche stores tell me tell me in the comments say I like niche stores and if you like generic stores say I like generic stores and just really tell us like what you thought of this video and what you think of these niches anyways thanks for 
thanks for listening and we'll see you on the next video also comment what you want to see on the next video as well because we want to start doing more videos and actually just speaking like giving you guys more we want to get back into this so really just tell us what you thought and what videos you want to start doing anyways we'll see you in the next video